Welcome back, fellow travelers. This is Rosakius, and we are playing No Man's Sky. And boy, do I feel silly. I had to go and search for Heridium because I didn't have any anymore. That was a big time resource that I didn't really expect to be taking. Um, but we got a little bit of a stack of iron here. We got plenty of thomium and plutonium. We really stacked up on that stuff. Which I'm pretty happy about, actually. I feel like for once, I don't, I'm not underwhelmed on those departments. So let us take this clunker to the space station. That's not where we want. I do want to hit up this moon before we leave this system. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Refuel pulse engine with iron. Oh, I forgot about that. Luckily, it didn't take too much. Signal trace detected scan to. Alright. Message amplified. Target locked. Locate the broadcast station. We are going to come back to the space station first. Now my goal here is to find a replacement ship. Which I know sounds really silly because we just got this ship. But this ship is going to cost us a lot of money to try to get the slots unlocked. And it will be cheaper for us to find another ship that's, even if it's another Class C ship that's bigger than our original ship, we'll be better off than trying to stick with this monstrosity. So we're gonna hang around in here for a little while. Ships don't usually take too long to get in here once you land. I have noticed that after a while they stop coming, so I really want to stay in here, and we already have one guy coming out here. I want to take a look at my items real quick, see if there's anything I can sell. The nickel is about it. Uh, oh, I can't punch in here. I never, I never really noticed that, I guess. This is an interesting little ship. What the heck? Let's see. Make an offer. 23 slots. Ugh. It'd cost me 1.5 million, but it's an A-class ship. Unfortunately, I don't have that much money. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use him to sell my zinc. Sell items to the... And I see a couple of ships out there already, so I want to hurry up with this. Um, this one looks exactly like mine. Oh, uh, two that look exactly like mine. Err, uh, okay. Well, let's see what they get me. Make an offer. Uh, 22, so it's a little less. I can't afford it. Wow. I was really hoping that this would be a slam dunk for me, but I might have to stick with my hunk of junk for a little bit. Because a C-Class with less slots actually will cost me 700,000 units, which is ridiculous. This one is 90,000 units for a C-Class with far fewer slots, um, but it does have more slots than my initial. I don't think so. I don't know. It's it's so much. It's not really a, an upgrade for me. It's not really an upgrade, and that I really need an upgrade. Maybe it would pay twenty thousand units to stick with this for just a little bit longer while we go out and explore. Arrgh. I was really hoping to find something good, but I don't think I'm going to. 
Well, we have another one that looks, I think that one's two more that's coming in. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Let's get out. Let's check these two out, and if these two look like a bus too, then, uh, then I'm going to go on. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I do have a few hundred thousand though. Like I'm not willing, I'm not against putting three or four hundred thousand dollars down for a better, holy cow, there's four coming in, for a better uh, ship. Oh, that one's cool looking. Let's start with you. Hurry up. I don't want to miss out on any. Uh, C class, 90,000. 19 units again. Let's look at you. I really like the look of this one. This one looks pretty cool, but it's probably going to be way more expensive. 21 slots. It's a little better. Oh, 1.7 million for a C class. 21 slots. That's ridiculous. And I think I missed out on. Oh, here we go. Hurry up! You look pretty cool too. I'm gonna guess that again, it's gonna be too expensive for me. Man, I really thought. I heard that this was a. A good strategy, A class, two million. But I have a feeling they fixed this issue that was happening. This looks like my starter ship. Let's take a look. Oh, from the front, it certainly doesn't look like my starter. C-Class 16 fighter. Ugh. This is in my price range. If it had 20 slots, I would actually consider this one, but... Boy. I guess I think we're gonna stick with my little shuttle for a little bit longer, at least. I might unlock another slot because of that. Very disappointing. Let's take off, though. So we have a moon, and we have to figure out where exactly this point of interest is. Looks like it's back at this planet. Which is a little bit off. Oh, it's on the other side, too. Alright, guys, I think... For this jet, we're just going to speed through this. We did have a hostile scan while we were coming this way, but I was able to speed away from them. Whee! Sideways, upside down landing! <laughs> uh, waypoint detected. Oh, I think this is one where we need to have the bolt caster for... This one's going to attract the attention of Sentinels. Oh, no, this one might be broken open already. Yeah, but I think usually this one requires bolt caster. All right. Haunted terminal. Uh, I'm just going to discard the goop. I think it... I don't know what it's used for yet, so... terminal is clogged with an unnerving pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid great getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. It deposits a sample of antimatter accompanied by a strange message. Read log and take the antimatter. You will find us when the time is right. That's a lot of 16s. Craft a warp cell. Uh, is there anything else in here that I can grab? A 
Let's turn on a torch. Oh, some plutonium usually. Now, not today. Not today. All right, let's turn off my torch. So we're back on this planet again. Let's go get some plutonium to restock since it's going to cost us. All right, so now we need the warp cell. We should check what what's required of that. Really quick after I get all this. I also need to remember... Hi, guy. How you doing? Feeling all right? I'm going this way. You coming with? All right. I also need to... What was I going to say before he interrupted? I have no idea. Such an interrupter. Oh, I was going to... Oh, I got rid of the zinc. I was going to sell the nickel. Damn it. Whatever. Ooh, I already have everything for a warp cell, so we're going to go ahead and make that. And we could use that right away on my ship. Let's get inside and get some thermal protection back. Um, actually, you know what? Even though I need that, I'm going to uncover that. I'm going to hold on to the warp cell. I know, it sounds mad. But, because I want to go back and check out that uh, the moon before I leave, I want to make sure before I leave I have everything I want. Um, we're going we're gonna to open that one too. Let's, let's repair the phase beam. That might help us in some way. If we get attacked, pulse engine needs to be filled. Launch thruster needs to be thrust. Alright. I'm gonna go... Oh. You thought you could hide from me in the dark, do you? I want to get a stack of iron going because I'm almost out of iron, and iron is good for recharging shields and my pulse engines. So I'm gonna go do that. Plant and planes of Ajnanon. There's that looks like another thing of gold. I might fill up on gold while I'm here. It's very tempting. But I've already crashed the market on gold. The thing is. <laughs> so that's probably not worth me doing, actually, now that I think of it. So I'm not gonna do that. We're going to get a stack of iron while we're here. I'm going to go in here to do that. And then I think I'm just going to take off right away. got enough iron for now. And I think we're kind of annoying the local sentinels, so best not to test them yet. I did I did notice one thing while we were out and about. I haven't built in the bolt caster yet, so I think we're gonna do that right now. That'll give us an added weapon.
which will be helpful if those guys ever decide to actually fight me. We'll have a weapon that's actually meant for fighting and not just... And not just mining. So we're gonna throw that in there. Alright, we got a... Got everything we need, so back up we go. Alright, so we're going this way. So there seems to be a group of pirates in between here and the space the space station. We're gonna head back to the space station. I am expecting pirates along the way. Even though I don't really have much of value. So we'll see if that turns out to be true. You know, I wish we could name space stations. I, I get that most of the space stations are pretty much the same, and that's kind of a bummer in some ways. But still, it would be kind of cool to, like, especially now that we have bases, to name the space station above your base. I think that would be really awesome. I am going to sell the nickel off really quick. Oh, my jetpack is... You would have thought that my jetpack would have, like, filled up while I was flying. It took a couple of minutes, so you'd think that'd be enough time, but apparently not. I should all- I also kind of want to check to see how expensive things are for this blueprint guy. I've gotten a few nanites. It's been hard going for the nanite clusters so far. 120, and I think we're only at like 74. So the closest we got is combat amplifier. Uh, eventually we want to get everything, even if I don't plan to use it, because it's nice to have options, and you know, I'm a gamer, so I have to catch them all, right? So let's check out our inventory. Full of random amounts of plutonium and thamium. Ah. Off we go to the moon. I'm a little concerned about the moon. Nobody here for me? <laughs> I was hoping that maybe I'd get lucky and see one, but it doesn't look like anybody's coming. I'm a little concerned about the moon because it is barren. But I'm hoping that just means of life. You know, something else I haven't seen here is freighters. And hopefully we don't get sucked in by the planet here. I think we're- I think we're gonna miss it. Oh, go through so, pulse engines so much. You know, it- I like the meteors and all. But it is kind of weird that there's meteors just frickin' everywhere in this space, like... There are kind of meteors everywhere in space, but generally not this many. Oh, it's a green planet. Kind of strange for barren. Maybe it's not barren, maybe empty means something different. Seven. This looks like it should be an interesting moon. I don't know what I'm really looking for here. Just looking. See what I find. Whoa, this is weird. It's definitely barren. Um, it doesn't look like there's trees or anything, but, like, everything is green and red. It's like Earth had sex with Mars and produced this moon. And, like, everything's on the Badlands. What is this? 
we'll land here. Uh, yeah, so what I was saying, I'm a little concerned because it is it is an empty moon. It's sand. It's green sand. Wow. This is weird. Is that my... Yeah. And with the, with the planet right there, like, oh my god. So we have some iron there. There's some plutonium over there. I, I don't know what to make of this moon. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? It's really weird. And there's one little plant! You're all alone, little fella. You can do it. Oh, look at that. There's an arch in an arch. I think that I think you are going to be our screenshot, sir. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. I forgot what I, was, I saw. There's some fame up there. Oh yeah, we're looking at this thing. Seeing if we can get money for whatever this gives us. Oh, there's a bunch of plutonium. Let's head over here. Weirdly enough, this empty moon with nothing here is one of the safest places I've been so far. <laughs> it seems like my life support is going down really fast though. Oh. I don't want you. Um, how do? There we go. So it's a triangle to change my weapon. Yeah, I bet there's like no oxygen here at all, and that's why my life support is dropping faster than normal. Because there's no atmosphere. Oh my gosh. That is sexy. Wow. Just all kinds of wow. That's amazing. <laughs> this game... I mean, say what you will about it. It's... it's very pretty. Nickel! Yeah, look at my life support die. I'm gonna get a lot of nickel here. We better hurry though. Because we're already... This is really strange. Oh! That's right! You don't lose any life support if you stand still. So as long as I don't move, my life support should be fine. So I can sit here and mine as slow as I freaking want. Alright, we're gonna do just that.
damn it. I need to be more careful with that. There's some plutonium up there. I'm kind of hoping to find some more nickel before I leave so that I can really fill up on it and uh, get rich a little bit. But I think that's probably going to be what, all we find. Ooh, that looks like nickel way out there. I want to go over this hill before we... Before we give that another go. Because maybe there's something over here that's closer. Nope, not really. Alright. Shall we? I don't know. Is that nickel there? Like, I can't tell what's nickel and what's just an arc. Those look shiny, but I'm not sure. Let's go check... I don't know. Let's go check it out. This is probably a terrible idea. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. I'm not going to do that because my life's... So this is just too terrible of a terrain here. It takes too much life support to do this. Um, and now we're having another problem in that I, I'm so far away from the ship that I don't have enough plutonium to actually do anything. Well, we don't want to run. <laughs> What happened to the plutonium that I just... Oh, it was plutonium. I didn't scan it! Ow! Shit. This could be... This could be bad, guys. This could be really bad. Nope. Come on. Oh my god, I'm so far away from it. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Come on, I'm gonna stop right here. Oh, that would have been terrible. There's a little bit more nickel here. Like it wasn't there when I left, but now like some is regenerated or it just wasn't showing before, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go up and try to finish it off and then we're gonna take off. It's so weird that it just... it wasn't there before. I mean, you guys saw it. Like, what the hell? What is up with that? If anybody knows what is going on with the nickel, or with big chunks like this, and why, if you leave and come back, more appears, please tell me in the comments. I've I've noticed this a couple of times, actually. It's not just this time. But if you go a little bit off and come back, usually you'll have more of whatever resource you were going after. And I get, you know, like... My, my uh, mining technique is not going to get everything. I'm going after large numbers here. So if you know... What the deal is with that? Tell me in the comments. Please. Um... There really isn't much thamium, thamium and... plutonium on this planet either, so... I'm a little bit on the shy side of it. I think what we might do instead is head back to the space station and on our way shoot asteroids. That seems like a really odd method of farming, but some some asteroids are thamium and all most of them, not all are iron and 
I am in need of a little bit of iron. I could I could do with some iron. So this is actually not a terrible idea. This was a very cool but deadly planet. I, I liked it a lot, but it is time to go. Man, that I I I'm already in desperate need of plutonium. So whatever planet I have next, I better be able to get some. I, I actually kind of feel like maybe I should make another stop on this the big planet before I I leave the system because who knows what is gonna be out there, right? All right, we're gonna speed a little bit. There we go. And... Let's see if this is actually worth doing. There's some Thamium. This might not actually be worth my time. <laughs> These giant, giant asteroids. Uh, where am I? I need to get the hell out of here. Alright. Where are you? I'm gonna get him. There's my new ship. One down. Oh, he went down fast. These guys were easy. Like, way easier. I don't know if it's because this ship is better or if they're just way easy. Let's go over and get these. There we go. Is there any other trophium? I can never find them from the first ship. Oh well. And we're out of the asteroid range. Ow, oh, balls. Yeah, you know what? I think between this episode and the next episode, I'm going to go down to the planet and we are going to refill our stocks of iron and plutonium and thamium since that last place like totally drained us i was not expecting that in fact i don't think i've been to a planet which has consumed my life support like that that was very dramatic like very dramatic i can't believe it like i've never seen anything like that it's kind of cool i like it but wow, was I not expecting that. Let's go see how much money we make real quick off that nickel whilst killing it. And then, you know, when I'm down there, if I see, if I run into a pile of iridium or something, I can also take a, a big stack of that for the next system too. Also a good idea. Time to tank. Nickel price. So it's currently at 128. Let's see where we. Well, I'm not gonna have any. That was the only thing that I really had. Oh, I I want to get rid of the trophium. I don't like to hang on to that. That's just taking up a spot. So items. Starship. So we'll get rid of the trophium. Yep. So what we learned today. Uh, my current ship seems to tear apart pirates a lot more easily than my last ship. A. B. Empty planets are quite dangerous too. Ooh, look at all of these. That looks too expensive for me, so I'm just going to skip that one and go to this one. C. The trade-in thing might... I, I do feel like I'm probably better off than I was for trade-ins, but it is not the savior that I was hoping for. These things are still really expensive. 
9 million units for a C-Class. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Where do these aliens come up with the price? Oh. Anyway, guys, thank you for <laughs> watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it like I enjoyed it. I'll see you again next time. Make sure to like and subscribe below. Bye-bye.